Welcome back guys to Hyrule Warriors as we continue on with our adventure mode map and we cleared up the A rank that we missed last episode, so or more to the point, the A rank that we didn't play on the right character to get the full heart container. Ah, oh, such a shame, such a shame, it'd probably be easier to play with the A rank person first and then play with the other person, because then you wouldn't need to get the A rank again. Not that it was that much of a hassle, but we've got ourselves a fair bit in the middle of the map done, so we're still avoiding sculptures right now until we've cleared our legend mode ones. Whoops, I didn't get round to any last episode. So, it's more searching to be done by the look of it to find more rewards around the map. And with our compass cards, the very obvious thing going on here, which I probably did not need to waste a compass card on, was there. A water bomb send? And a reward has been unlocked. What is it? A full heart container for fight, you say? Well, time to get battling. Defeat 400 enemies in 10 minutes for an A rank. That's not hard at all. It's not restricted to anyone, but we need to get Fi's stuff. So Fi, get going. Now what one can we use? Well, it seems I still haven't got any great weapons in terms of slots for you, so it's that one we go. And stone statues called Beamos. Attack with power beams once they spot you, just run up to them and bomb them senseless. Though of course I always think, shoot them in the eye as well. Be also extraordinarily tough, so normal attacks will be ineffective. Yes they will. Except then they instantly fall over when you throw the bombs. So, defeat Dinalfoss is my mission, is it? Well apart from that, it seems there's a lot of friends this way. So let's power ourselves up. Three, four, five, and then it's this move to completely destroy. Oh, I don't want to take too much damage, that's for sure. Right, fire levels up straight away for the start of the episode. And that'll be 100 KOs within the shortest amount of time, surely. Here comes complication number one. Though it's not good to kill big bosses for this quest, if you know what I mean. It definitely gives us materials if they want to enact fast. So, let's stand in front of him and see what he wants to do. I think you need to breathe in, sir. And that's breathing out. And that's rolling. Oh, that's stomping, okay. Now that's rolling. Look, come on, guy. I want your materials, don't you know? Oh well. Oh well. The longer you can follow me around, and if you care to breathe, that's when we will attack. Until then. See, the dancing terror will go to work. We don't even need you to go to weakness strike, sir. Trust me, when I say you're down, you're down. Alright, you fooled the enemy's plan. Oh no, their plan's been foiled. The Dongo wants to follow me, but isn't really going to get to at this point in time, though we are skirting around him, that's for sure. No enemies can survive that. Oh, I missed the weakness strike. Oh, second chance, though. That would draw some enemies in. Now what was it within? 500 enemies within 4 minutes? 400 enemies within 5 minutes? Lana's over there though, however. Right. Do I really want to challenge Lana when I can easily just go and kill the other groups? That's always a question. There's materials on the map. And to be honest, we wasted time trying to get the Donga to breathe. Come on, guy, actually do something that's helpful for me, almost the point. If you're not going to be helpful, I'll do it myself. I've got special after all, so if I defeated a Dark Knight, the enemy's life force can no longer be detected, that's for sure. And we get nearer to our KO count. Well, now we've got more than one Dodongo, that's for sure. Right, we've still got our bombs on. Just in case he cares to breathe in, but it doesn't seem so at the moment. Oh, 
Do you have some bombs? And while we won't get him KO'd at this point. That's a nice little hit on a weakness gauge, wouldn't you say? Now out of here, or maybe we should finish off you. Oh! King Dodongo wants to be defeated, it seems. The King Dodongos are joining up as well. Not enough of the weakness strike there, but here we go. In fact, we're going to fail the mission at this rate if we do stick around. The Dodongos, they are annoying. They are distractions. While we could defeat the Dodongo previously before, it doesn't seem like Fire has the power to just knock him out. Right, we're getting near the KO total. Let's jump in here and bring 400 enemies up in under 10 minutes. Not exactly that much of a problem for the A rank, that's for sure. As long as we don't get too focused on all the baddies, we're fine. We can farm them for materials, but it's just like, meh, they don't go down that easily. And what's the point? Well, I guess if you're material farming and you don't care about the A rank, that's the point. In that level alone, there's two Dodongos and Alana for materials. So you think of it like that, start raking it in. Especially if your characters are a lot stronger than mine currently. If they can weakness strike one of these guys down in one hit, then it's like materials, like the very first one we did. Sword that can dance, that's all you really need in battle. A sword should be elegant, being able to move freely. Back and forth, A ranks indeed, we didn't want to take too much damage. But still, the goddess swords we pick up are never really that great. Fee, we fire, we need a better version of you. We'll pick up materials anyway. And look for a section of the map to move on to as we find another level 2 weapon with Sculptulas. But apart from that, there is a big hard container over here of a compass. For to feed 500 enemies in 10 minutes, so pretty much the same quest going on. But with Darunia wanting to pick up the heart, let's send you out there with fire experience. More to the point, focus on the small packs. Focus on the small ones indeed. Right then, let's get this mission started. Delirunia, let's go and find ourselves packs of monsters. They're so looking at the mini map and the pulsing icon. I don't know if I want to go that way. But that's normally a character that's a boss or something, isn't it? Well, weakness strikes straight away on you is good for me. I'll take that indeed. And hopefully, there's about 100 people here for me to defeat. That'll be a nice knock on my quota, won't it? There's a Deku Baba over there. We should probably try to get eyeline on who is up there, see if it's easy to defeat or not. Alright, 100 KOs. Says rank or something, that's for sure. And something I don't really want to be seeing. Manhandler is a gigantic complication because he can hit me across the map. Right, some more guys have appeared, have they? That's nice to know. Uh, let's maybe challenge these guys until Manhandler gets here. Okay, you're going weakness strike again, are you? Farewell to you. Let's kill ourselves some more guys. We need the bow and arrow equipped here. 
Let's get rid of that Deku Barber. I was about to say, find myself some more normal power, but doesn't seem that's happening. I could just KO a few more guys to try and fill that bar. Got Darunia over there. Successfully guarded. And with the power up there, we only got two of them hit. Okay, another one got hit in the meantime, though, however, by the weirdness of my boomerang still hanging around. Oh, wow, that's really working for me. Okay. I guess power up boomerang in bad. Oh! Must get attacking, though. With Darunia power, Manhandler starts to go down. Oh, we've got to attack the small things, not the big things. But at this point, if we leave Manhandler alive, we probably will get down to him in the end. What are you doing? Okay, you're stalking up, are you? Oh, there's two defeated. I haven't seen you do that attack that often, that's for sure. Come on, Manhandler, do something. Inspired enemy troops to have more morale is not what I want Darunia to do in the meantime. Oh, I got ourselves my another special at the right time here. Can we defeat Manhandler with this? I don't think so. I don't think our weakness strike's good enough. Right, magic jar transport troops have arrived, have they? That could be handy in all honesty. So, peel off. Give me the magic jar. And it's time to strike you onto weakness strike and not get defeated in the meantime. I think I have enough power to defeat him through chip damage, so Manhandler's defeated. That's brilliant. We've got ourselves materials, which is not really what we wanted. We just wanted him off the map. So we have a fair bit of time left to try and get these defeats, these KOs on our board. We're not even reaching 200 yet. And we've already been five minutes in the battle. Alright, Sheik's appeared and another person's appeared. Another ghost has appeared. Okay. Let's just go round the boss at the moment. Oh, you go and do that. That's fine with me. Darunia's looking at me. Is he moving towards me? No, is he staying away? I'm fine. Alright, that's going to be 250. Who would I rather battle? Sheik or... Oh, Darunia. Someone's coming for me then. If I get morale struck by you, well look at the group of enemies there next to Darunia. We're chipping down Darunia all the same. But to be honest, it's just to re-chick myself so I can try to hit... 41 more KOs onto my total. Okay, another manhandler's appeared. I don't think I can stick around. Hmm. Maybe I should focus on Big Poe and getting around. I definitely don't need Manhandler number two getting anywhere near me. I defeated the first one for ease's sake. Now it's getting bad. I can't let them get close. I'm going to have to go near Sheik as well at this rate. And activate her a little bit. Well, at least we could do a little bit of damage to her. Though no reason really to do it. We've still got four minutes left. Well, Sheik obviously knows not to mess with me now. That's, that's what we were doing. 
Magic Jar transport troops. We've got a ton of skeletons over here. That's going to bring us above 400. As well as this guy. Who's going to annoy me unless I smash him. Manhandlers just follow me around. My enemy reinforcements have appeared. But unfortunately they've appeared at the area I don't want them to. Ruto has appeared as well. Right, this defeat small enemies things becomes more pertinent as we keep doing things. Right, so 432. I think we should head up to near Darunia, but enemy troops have been inspired once more. It's not good for me. Right, transport captain. I would ask you for your materials just for the sake of... Of the fact that at least I can defeat some guys near you. Is my plan anyway. Right, Darunia got knocked away, which means I've got... F oh, not free reign. Not free reign. Right, we only need 40 more KOs. I don't see 40 more KOs in the field in front of me, that's for sure. Just here anyway. Man, handlers circling around at me. When did Darunia get so low now? However, I do see our remaining chaos right here. Oh, what? Yes, thank you. I'll take that last one and hope that I haven't taken enough damage to still grab myself an A rank and get myself that chest. What? Not an A rank? Darunia, I don't think this is time for celebrating, do you? I mean, he's quite happy to have survived that kind of maul, but still. That time we spent on Manhandler was obviously time not well spent. So let's see exactly what we did wrong. It must be the clear time, if anything. It is indeed. We got the damage taken done right. That's for sure. So I have to do it again, but faster. We've got ourselves a reward, sure, but to be honest, we're going to have to do it again, so... Back into the breach once more. And so were the mission completed again via just circling the map. An A-rank victory was not that hard to get, done in under five minutes without engaging any big bosses, without any worry. It's nice to do things the second time, do you know what I mean? Hard to try and do things the first when you're wondering exactly what is the best course of action. The best course of action here was just to leg it round and beat on some small skeletons quite a lot. Victory is ours this time. Darunia, I would say you may dance, but we've already seen it. You already celebrated when it wasn't even a victory! And so we've done a lot more cleanly this time. We get ourselves some more weapons, a prism rod, hey? With strength, five materials and rupees. That seems good for me, apart from the fact I'm going to have to get rid of a fire rod or two, which isn't too hard for me. We get ourselves essence of icy bow, monster teeth, and more to the point, after completing the mission, Two more spaces in the map opened up. Over here for what seems to be a level 2 weapon for Darunia. And down here for a hot piece for Sheik and a nice little candle reward. Which we could probably use another candle at this point in time. But with that said and done, we've got two more missions done here. So it's time. To hit all the way back on legend mode. Right then, so we've got... Two missions left here, Grand Finale Part, Enduring Resolve and Liberation of the Triforce. Enduring Resolve, Lana for a hot piece, and it seems Zelda for a Scotula. So Lana, let's get out there and find that hot piece indeed. And no sooner have we started the level than a chest appears here in Central Keep after it being taken. So with that said and it gleaming nice and red, we're hoping it's not a weapon. And sometimes they are, and that it is indeed the hard piece we look for. So just a hard mode sculpture to pick on here, and then we've only got one level left on our legend mode jaunt. 
And so our 2,000 KO total in this level for the Scotchman is about to be reached. The key boss has already spawned here, so if I get in a nice vantage point, turn around, and get nuking, maybe I'll reach it. Maybe not. 2,030 KOs, a gold sculpture has appeared. Now where is this exactly? That's the real question. Apart from the fact we got Big Po fighting here, no noises yet. Check out the dead end is always the best option. And that leaves us with just one more gold sculpture from level, well, legend mode, not level mode. I'm leveling up quite a lot near though, I think. Zelda's now my highest leveled character, so it's time to finish the mission and time to finish the episode. Join me next time for more Hyrule Warriors. We'll be back on the adventure mode map, of course, trying out new things, maybe new costumes to see what's happening there. And soon we can start collecting Sculptulas there as well. With well, the Sculptulas in Legend mode only amounting to just one more. We'll see you around for the picture screen. Goodbye.